The Maricopa County attorney Alistair Adele has said she's committed to holding our law enforcement officers accountable, and she backed that statement up yesterday, announcing charges against two Valley officers. Now, advocates for criminal justice reform, they are now cautiously optimistic. Our Carissa Planup explains why. This week, the Maricopa County attorney filed criminal charges against a Phoenix police officer and a Mesa police officer. A state lawmaker who has repeatedly called for police reform says it's a step in the right direction. He also says he'll be interested to see how those cases play out. As we've seen across the country, there's been charges um, but we really have to make sure we have a process that fully goes through. State Representative Reginald Bolding reacting to charges brought against two Valley officers. Phoenix Police Officer Sean Pena accused of sexually assaulting two women in his custody. And Mesa Police Officer Nathan Chisler. He faces a charge in connection to an officer-involved shooting. The first time in years an officer in Maricopa County will be criminally prosecuted for use of force. Anytime you see uh, officer-involved shootings or uh, use of force incidents, those typically occur because the, the suspect or the community member uh, is non-compliant. Deadly force should never be the end result uh, for non-compliance. Former Mesa police officer Philip Brailsford went on trial for shooting an unarmed man in 2016. Jurors found him not guilty of second degree murder. Officer Chisler is accused of aggravated assault after shooting an unarmed man at a Mesa restaurant back in December. Investigators say Randall Sewell was drunk and refusing to leave when he pushed an officer. Then there was a struggle between Chisler and Sewell, and Chisler fired, hitting Sewell in the leg. Uh, I think the county attorney uh, did the right job here. Still, Bolding says the law on use of force remains very broad. It gives so much broad latitude on allowing officers to use deadly force uh, that almost anything uh, would come underneath that statute, which could put uh, prosecutors in a difficult situation. So we absolutely need to have policy change at the state level. Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.